I'm Dr. Alex Ye, and today we are going to talk about Crestal Approach sinus lift procedures and surgical implant placements. Today you will see a live surgery performed by Dr. Benjamin Jin on his identical twin brother, Dr. Alva Jin. The Crestal Approach sinus lift differs from the lateral approach sinus lift in that it is considered less invasive. However, it is limited to certain cases and case selection is important. The surgical kit we will be using is the Hyosin Cast Kit. This is short for Crestal Approach Sinus Kit. This includes drills which create an osteotomy site but avoids cutting the sinus membrane. This is an important aspect of this particular kit as well as the use of hydraulic pressure to safely lift the sinus membrane vertically to allow for bone graft and implant placement. We are going to get started with Dr. Ben and Dr. Alva introducing themselves. So my name is Dr. Benjamin Jin. We're going to be doing a crestal approach sinus lift today and we're going to be placing two implants in. So my patient is actually my brother. He's, uh, his name's Dr. Alva Jin. So you'll be seeing both of us at Smiles Dental Group. Uh, it'll be, it's, it's a little nerve wracking, but uh, we have excellent equipment here with cone beam CTs, we have guided surgery, so it really takes the stress off. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Alva Jin. I'll be getting a sinus lift and also uh, two implants placed by my brother. I'm pretty, very confident because my brother is an excellent dentist and he has great equipment here at Smiles Dental. Okay, so this is the, uh, these are some of the drills that we're going to be using. Dr. Ben is uh, freezing his brother and taking some photos. That's Shania, one of our dental assistants. We're gonna finish gowning up here. This is a shot at our uh, Spruce Grove clinic. Um, right now, Dr. Ben is making his initial incision along the crest of the maxilla in the edentulous space. It's uh, teeth number two, six and two, seven that are missing. Nice clean incision. So here the, uh, the flap has been released and we can see the full crest of the, of the bone, the alveolar bone. That is the surgical stent that uh, Dr. Ben is going to be using. Um, it was created with the help of our CBCT. It is very stable because um, it fits exactly on Dr. Alva's teeth and helps ensure that the angle and depth of placement are exactly as we plan them to be and minimizes the risk of perforation or malplacement of the implants. So right now we're creating the osteotomy site just short of the sinus membrane, sinus floor. And now um, without the uh, surgical guide, he's using, Dr. Ben is using the um, Crustal Approach Sinus Lift Kit by Hyosin. And so now he's uh, he's lifting the, the floor safely with this instrument, the hand instrument. And now we're hydraulic, using hydra hydraulic pressure, saline, to lift, to slowly and gently lift the sinus membrane. So you can, you can actually measure the volume of saline that you're pushing into the sinus and then retracting out. Here we're, we're mixing the bone with saline. This is a, a bone graft material, I believe it's cortical cancellous bone grafting material. And we use a, a little syringe to deliver the, uh, the bone into the, uh, into the site. You can see the syringe right there. And so he's just pushing the bone graft material into the osteotomy site and then manually pushing it with a condenser into the sinus space but below the sinus membrane because again the sinus membrane has not been perforated so he's just carefully delivering the bone 
into the sinus under the membrane. And just condensing it in. Um, this is, so we're just taking an interim CBCT just to make sure everything's looking good, which it is. So we're ready now to place the implants in the exact osteotomy site as, uh, as we used for the sinus lift and bone graft. So this is what makes this um, minimally invasive because the same holes that we used to deliver the bone and lift the membrane are the holes or the osteotomy site that we're using to place the implants. This is in contrast to the lateral approach sinus lift and bone graft where you, you have to have two separate um, surgical sites, one for the lift and bone graft and then a separate site for the implant placement. So you can see, you can see the, the implants are being torqued in initially with the handpiece and then secondarily with the uh, torque wrench. This, I believe, are, we're using uh, Strawman implants in this particular case, um, although we routinely use Hyosin as well as Nobel implants. So we're torquing it, um, I believe Dr. Ben's torquing it to about 50, 50 or so Newton centimeters, 50 to 70 Newton centimeters, I think. So this is the second uh, implant that he's placing in the exact same manner. It's 35, that's, yeah, it looks as though he's torquing to about 50 or 60 Newton centimeters. Everything's looking good. The patient is comfortable, not feeling anything, no pain. This is done under local anesthesia only, so again, only the site is frozen. The patient, Dr. Alva, is not sedated. Very comfortable. The procedure is going really well and it's, it's not taking much time, so, so the patient's not overly uncomfortable. We're taking some uh, photos for Dr. Ben's collection, his gallery. So you can see the uh, the flap has been nicely released, and now the healing abutments are in place. Those uh, those are those caps that are on top of the implants. There, those are healing abutments. The implants are placed. Um, at the level of the bone, or potentially slightly below. These are bone level implants that he's placing. And you can see they're quite parallel and the spacing is, is fairly ideal. And so now we're just suturing the, uh, the, uh, the osteotomy site and just uh, closing up the, closing up the uh, surgical site. Just placing a few interrupted sutures and we're taking another CBCT with Dr. Alva and we're going to see the implants and bone grafts with sinus lift. So you can see there's quite a bit of lift. We've got quite a bit of lift in bone. You can see there's probably about, there's more than what's what was needed but everything looks good. Uh, from the x-rays everything looked really good. A um, little tired from the procedure because it was a lot of work but everything was done very very professionally. I was in good hands. So the procedure is completed, uh, everything went exactly according to plan. Brother is an excellent patient. We checked the x-rays and everything went exactly where it's supposed to be. Sinus lift looks great and uh, I'm sure he's going to be a very happy patient. So that was the Crestle approach, sinus lift and implant placements. Live surgery with Dr. Ben and Dr. Alva Jin. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a shout or email us at our website 
smilesdentalgroup.com. That's www.smilesdentalgroup.com. And uh, if you do have interest in dentistry or dental procedures, please, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel.